Hello everyone, Alan here uh, with the second last of this Dark Souls playthrough. Uh, Framped is still pretty upset with me. I went jumped down to his altar earlier in the game without asking. Uh, but it doesn't make any difference to the game outcome. So running through the graveyard here, plenty of skeletons. And we're going into the catacombs. Uh, catacombs has skeleton enemies that uh, can't be killed. Uh, each group of skeletons is kept alive by a necromancer enemy. Uh, that has to be killed first before you can take out the skeletons. I'm um, not going to... Probably not going to bother with that at all. So pushing this lever to open a door, doing a quit out to uh, de-aggro all those skeletons that were chasing me. And I'm going to do a skip now of this whole level. You can see that fireball went through uh, my body there. Uh, that's because the standing up animation when you load in is actually invincible. So here's the skip. A little worrying that those skeletons came down with me. Kind of don't need to be dealing with them. Okay. So those enemies are pretty scary. They can stun lock you very easily uh, with that wheel animation and just kill all your, destroy all your health bar. So on to fight Pinwheel. Uh, sometimes considered the easiest boss in the game. No, that's not him. So he creates these decoys. Um, where's he gone? Great. Well, a lot of decoys there. So that would have been uh, quite tricky. So into the Tomb of the Giants now. Uh, tough area. Full of very strong enemies. Going to take some bonfires here because I have uh, little confidence uh, in this area. Well, level up. Uh, so the light I got uh, from the sunlight packet in um, Lost Isleth. It's very handy here. Not good. 
So straight run now to fight Nito. A little bit worried, I don't have much healing items left. Now, but let's see how we go. I'm surprised at how durable those are. these pinwheel enemies here. It would be very annoying if I died right now. Right, and I need to change my armor now. So, uh, toughening up considerably. Hopefully I won't get poisoned. Let's see what happens. Oh, I nearly died there. So this is a good start. Usually Nito does ranged attacks, which can be awkward. See, I'm eating through his health bar pretty well. These skeletons just won't die. So that's a little awkward. I should probably have tried to finish him off there. It should be okay. So that attack inflicts poison, as you can see. Toxic, I mean. So now I'm, I would be in a lot of trouble if I hadn't... Uh... No, he's still alive. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, thank God. Right, that's him done. So we'll warp to Firelink Shrine and then down to the Sunlight, no, Firelink Altar or whatever it's called. Ready for the very last part of the game. Let's get rid of this stuff. So hello again to Frampt. Okay. level up. And boost up the bonfire here. So I'll have 20 healing items. I can't do that, can I? No. Uh, not to worry. Okay, so we're ready for the last part of the game. Well, let's just open the door so we're set for next time. Ah, that's it. Got to offer all my Lord Souls cutscene there. Nest again. Okay, and now it gives me 20 Estus charges. I didn't think I would remember that. Alright, so that's the end of this part of the video. Thank you for watching. Go in next.